In this video, we will cover the following. What is expected from a med tech? A tour of the medication carts? How to count narcotics? How to perform a proper med pass? And what to do with refused or disposed medication? As a med tech, you are expected to assist with the following. Bubble packed pills, topical creams and powders, topical patches, eye drops, nasal sprays, suppositories, insulin injections, and blood sugar checks. Ensure it is the right patient, the right medication, the right dose, the right route, and the right time. In the carts, you will find the following topical and smaller medications, bubble-packed pills, PRN bubble packs, first aid supplies and vital sign supplies, larger medications, narcotics, miscellaneous items, a computer, medication cups, hand sanitizer, a binder with documents, and gloves. All narcotics are locked within a double lock in the med cart. Refrigerated narcotics will be found in a lockbox within the fridge. Each cart comes with a narcotic book with the resident room numbers labeled on your right hand side. These are used to track when narcotics are being administered to the residents. These are also used to count and track narcotics during shift change. When administering a narcotic, make sure to record the date, the time, the amount given, sign, and record the number remaining. When counting narcotics during shift change, make sure to record the date, the time, the number remaining, and the offgoing and oncoming signatures. When popping any scheduled routine medications, make sure to pop them on the date. This will start at the beginning of the month with pill one, and then we'll go up to pill number 30 at the end of the month. Narcotics should be started at number 30 and then popped all the way down to number one. This is done to increase efficiency during shift change while counting narcotics. When popping any medication, you need to make sure to initial next to the pill that you pop. This should be done for any scheduled routine medications, narcotics, and PRNs. If you have a medication that is refused or not administered for another reason, you need to make sure that you write refused on the bubble pack. Then skip to the next dose for your next scheduled pass. First, you need to take the car outside the resident's room. First, pull up the resident's medications on the computer. Next, locate and pull the medications from the cart. Then compare the medications to the MAR to ensure that they are accurate. After pulling the medications, make sure to close all patient records, lock the cart, and perform hand hygiene. Next, take the medication packs to the resident's room. Talk to the resident about taking his or her pills before popping the medications. This is to ensure that the resident is ready and to decrease the chances of a refusal or a medication disposal. Next, pop the medication and watch the resident take their pills. Never leave the room with unoccupied pills. Apply any creams, powders, drops, sprays, injections, or tests. Take the medications back to the cart and ensure that all bubble packed pills are initialed. 
Place those pills back into the cart in their organized and designated area. All pills should be organized by their scheduled time. These should match the order listed on the MAR. When taking out a group of scheduled pills, make sure after administration to place them behind the next scheduled pills. This should be a continuous cycle to make your next med pass more efficient. Make sure to lock the cart, perform hand hygiene, and most importantly, chart all medications passed on Alice. When administering a PRN, you want to ensure that it is a proper time to administer. If the resident is able to verbally ask for their PRN medication, you are able to give that PRN. If the resident is unable to verbally express that they want their PRN, you are unable to give them that PRN. In order to administer, you need to get approval from the facility nurse or their hospice nurse. With approval from the nurse, you are able to administer that PRN. If you have a medication that needs disposed, place it in a Ziploc bag with the following. What medication is it? Whose medication is it? What happened? When did it happen? And sign your name. Place it in the top drawer of the med cart to ensure that it is safe. Next, make sure you communicate this to management or to the next shift. If you find a lost or unknown pill in the med cart, in a resident's room, or in any other scenario, you need to make sure to contact the administrator immediately. Place it in the top drawer of the med cart to ensure that it is safe until management is able to remove it. If you have any questions about the MedPass procedure, make sure you contact the staff educator or the facility administrator.